sustainably end hunger with the right interventions and policies, it is essential to have a clear, reliable, and commonly agreed picture of the food security situation. In reality, decision makers are often provided with conflicting analysis of situations and recommendations by different agencies. The IPC, Integrated Food Security Phase Classification, promotes a standardized as well as scientific approach to food security, which includes tools, procedures, and processes for analyzing various food insecurity situations, severity, causes, early warning, and objectives for intervention, communicating to decision makers in a timely and clear manner. The IPC is much like a thermometer that gauges the temperature of how bad any given food insecurity situation is. But it is more than just the temperature. The IPC indicates the changing of a food insecure situation and, critically, changes in the required responses. And it allows the comparability of results over time and space. The whole purpose of the IPC is decision support. It provides the critical link between complex analysis and decision making. Key decision makers and planners do not have to struggle with competing conclusions. They can be comfortable knowing the IPC analysis is evidence-based and it represents the consensus views of their technical staff along with the technical staff from other stakeholder organizations. Originally developed in Somalia in 2004, the IPC version 1.0 and 1.1 have been extensively applied and used in different countries and contexts. Building on this experience, the new version 2.0 aims to meet new challenges emerging from field applications, to consolidate perspectives from leading food security organizations, and to update and innovate the IPC approach. Clear and standardized functions that consist of new tools and new procedures. The new functions guide the work of the IPC analysts from the beginning to the end of their work, situation analysis. This new version is a result of two years of technical consultations led by the IPC global team and partners, involving hundreds of professionals from different countries and regions, all implementing IPC. It also gathers the inputs of national governments, NGOs, UN agencies, academic institutions, as well as the support of several funding agencies, in particular the European Union. Ending hunger is doable and requires multiple stakeholders to work together. A major step in that direction is agreeing on a common system, a language for classifying food insecurity, and identifying who, how many, and where are the populations in need, and what are the key causes. It is hoped that this IPC contributes to that goal.